Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shaq and welcome to episode three of North Coders Essentials. And today we're going to be giving you a breakdown of the lingo involved in tech. So first up, we have code. What is it? Essentially, it's a set of instructions written in numbers, letters and symbols that tell your computer what to do in web. So those that write code are called either developers, programmers, engineers or coders. And there are an incredibly large number of different languages out there that are open for you to learn. But we'll save that for another episode. Front-end code, what is that? So front-end code runs in your app or on your browser. It is essentially everything that you're able to see and touch and interact with. So a front-end developer would be someone that would go about building their code using HTML to structure the layout, CSS to style their layout, and JavaScript to add interactivity. And the browser is essentially a program which allows us to search the web. Examples of browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer. So backend code, that is something that I really used to struggle with before I came, became a developer. And essentially, backend code runs on a server and it is responsible for all the heavy lifting of an application. So a backend code would add data to a database. It would process all the business logic. It would handle the calculations and then it would return a response to the front end. And there are a myriad of different languages that backend code can be written in. For example, C Sharp, C++, Node.js and Python, just to name a few. Another one is a server. So a server is essentially a computer. It's a specially configured computer so that it is constantly running and it is there to provide a service to essentially the front end which will make requests to it. So what happens if you're on a browser and you click on something? So your browser interacts with your front end code that then makes a request to your back end code which lives on the server. The server then receives it essentially like a set of instructions, does what it needs to do, and then it sends a response back to the front end, which you now see on your browser. What is a full stack developer? Well, it's essentially someone that is able to code front end and back end code. That's it. So what is an algorithm? Well, essentially, an algorithm is a set of instructions to let the computer know what to do and when to do it. Uh, great examples of algorithms are recipes. For example, if I were to write myself an algorithm to pick up this Satsuma, it would simply be, Shaq, raise your right arm, move it over the bowl, put it down and pick up the Satsuma and push it back to its original position. Just a set of instructions. A bug. Now, a bug is a flaw in your program which will prevent it from operating in the way you would like it to. The term itself actually originates from Grace Hopper. And funnily enough, when she coined the term initially, it was due to an actual bug in her computer. The command line v terminal. So the command line is essentially the way in which we all used to interact with computers. However, with the rise of graphical user interfaces, aka the GUI, we now interact with our computer through clicks and presses on a keyboard. But the command line is still very much something used by developers and system admins. It is a very powerful tool in their belt. The terminal, however, is simply an interface which allows us to access the command line. And what is a North Coder? A North Coder is someone like you. There's someone who has an incredible interest in tech and has decided to kickstart their career in development. If you would be interested in finding out more, then 
visit this site. So if you have liked this video, please do give us a like and subscribe. And also let us know down below in the comments if there are any other topics that you would like us to cover. But for now, I'll see you next time.